Hey watchers, what's going on? We have Sam Wilson, Captain America number three from Nick Spencer, Daniel Acuna with Mike Choi. So let's get started. We open up with Misty Knight taking out some regular little mooks outside in, a, in some sort of abandoned factory. And we come to our old furry friend, Cap Wolf. Yes, everyone, Cap Wolf is back for a very short amount of time. So flashback to a string, a connective string from some of the other issues as Cap investigates evil Dr. Carl Malice who was seen, who was mentioned before as some type of DNA splicing evil bad genius. And we see him working to make a string of horrendous human animal hybrids, a la Tusk, if you've ever seen it. And he, him and Cap actually engage in fight, breaking through the window. And he actually manages to overpower Cap as we realize that uh, Carl Mal Malice may not be everything that he seems. He has some latent symbiote powers when he was apparently eaten by Carnage. So, you know, he manages to release the beast within Cap, if you will, and make his escape. So as we jump back to where we started, uh, Wolf, Wolf Sam, or Sam Wolfson, if you will, and Misty chase after Malice and his malicious animal menagerie, and they find their way uh, to him and wind up fighting a, a whole host army of these horrible hybrids and defeat them, capture Malice, and actually stumble upon the grandson who's been, who we've been looking for and hearing about since the first issue. So he uh, actually fused with poor old Red Wing, and they're currently looking for a way to cure him of that poor guy. And uh, it actually ends with the introduction and return of an old enemy with a new face who is now in the cosmetics industry. And maybe more, enter Serpent Solutions. So the positive of this is it's certainly an interesting plot. It has connection to the past two issues, which is good. They're not overt, but they're thin, so it is kind of nice to have a slightly... To, to know that there's connections between the stories, but not enough to, you know, enough to make them still individual. And it does kind of have its funny moments here and there, especially in Malice's dialogue and when he interacts with Cap. The real negatives, I would have to say, is that this flashback method of storytelling may start to work against it if it continues throughout the rest of the series, because I certainly think it'd be a lot easier to tell just a story from start to end rather than start, go back, and then go back forward again to the, to kind of keep up with how we started. It's, it's just a little too jumpy. That might be an issue to detract from. But all around, if you like the series, uh, it's less political, a little bit more fun, a nice little interesting leeway story as we introduce some new villains. So I got to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Hybrid Network.